Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited you're all here today. And as you can see from this clip, it's a really rainy, wet day here, but we're gonna be decorating the kitchen today. I'm so excited. I feel like the kitchen's the heart of the home and we spend a lot of time in ours. So I really wanted to make it festive and bring some color and life into it for the summer season. And I'm really using a lot of blues, whites, and I'm actually gonna be adding in some yellow. So I'm super excited. So let's get started and make everything feel cozy. This tray is one of my favorites. I actually used it on my kitchen island in the spring, but I'm gonna use it again for the summer. And I'm gonna go in with this little riser that I got from HomeSense. I did wanna add a little stack of plates, but I wanted to elevate them a little bit. And this blue color is my favorite right now. I think it's just so calming and so gorgeous. You could use it for spring and summer. And I've been really loving blues. I feel like it looks very French country, cottage core. So I did have this cute little cup from Dollar Tree and I wanted to add some pillar candles to it and I just feel like it gives off that really homey feel that I'm going for in the kitchen. This little sign was from Michael's. I believe it was last year. And then I'm also going to add a tea towel. I love to add seasonal tea towels to my decor. And I really love to use a lot of greenery. I did have that real plant. My husband got me that for Easter, but I'm also gonna add in this faux one. And then I'm gonna go in with a few little beads. I got these from a sweet subscriber and I love to incorporate them into my decor. I think this little display turned out super cute and I love that I can just easily move it off the island if I need to. But now I'm gonna go in with some of these placemats. I did pick these up this year. If you missed my last video, I did um, show where I purchased a lot of my new pieces for my summer decor. Um, but I love these placemats and I'm gonna layer these blue plates over top of them. And you can really see the color of the blue in this clip with the sun kind of shining in. And then I'm gonna layer over over top my Dollar Tree plate as well as a lemon just for that little pop of yellow for summer. I remember that I had these cups and they're actually plastic. I typically use them for outside in the summer, but I thought they looked so pretty and I wasn't even sure what side of the plate you're supposed to place the cup. So I think it might be the right side, but you guys will have to tell me if there is proper etiquette. We're not super fancy here, but I just thought they added a really pretty touch to the island. I love to add seasonal hand soap by my kitchen sink and typically I love the Mrs. Myers and I really wanted the honeysuckle scent but I couldn't find any so I did just buy this method hand soap. It smells amazing and the color does go with my theme but I'm definitely on the hunt for the Mrs. Myers honeysuckle or the lemon. So I decided to keep our nest sign up in the kitchen. I think it's super cute. It doesn't have to just be for spring. And I have my seasonal wreaths here and just to bring in a little bit more color and instead of replacing the whole wreath, I'm just gonna add some sprigs of this yellow floral that I got from Michael's last year. And I feel like it really pops up against our dark cabinets. In this corner here, I decided to add this really pretty lace doily, and then I had a plate stand to which I added this really cute hat. I love it. This would be perfect for actually fall decor also. And then I have this really pretty hand towel from Dollar Tree. Just to bring a little bit of color into these containers, I decided to drape it in one of them. And then I also have some greenery. This is from the Ashland collection from Michaels. They typically always have this, and I think it's $9.99. And just to bring some pops of green, I decided to kind of tuck that into the canister and then add a simple little lemon. Okay guys, I want to show a little clip of Holstein. He got his hair cut on Thursday and he's bundled under the blanket. He does not like getting his hair cut and it was a chilly day so he's just cozying up on the couch watching me decorate. 
Okay, I found this super cute basket at the Goodwill. I think it's so cute. It was only a few dollars, so I knew that this would look really cute for the kitchen, and I kind of wanted to build a little vignette inside of it. So I think to me, when I want to make something really cozy, I feel like I love to layer a lot of pieces in. So I went in with a tea towel, and then I'm going in with this really pretty lemon plate. I can't remember where I got it from, but I got a set of three last year. And then I also thrifted these mugs they were 50 cents each and I love the blue color and I just kind of wanted to layer them in the basket these adorable little flowers were from the Dublin Mercantile I think they're so cute so I thought I would just tuck them into the mugs and then I'm gonna use one of these little coasters it was from the Dollar Tree also any of the navy and white that's pretty much all from the Dollar Tree and then I'm gonna go in with some of these candlesticks and I'm just really trying to layer a lot of pieces in here I'm gonna add a lemon and then this adorable little basket that I thrifted I think it's just so cute I love how dainty and small it is and I thought it was cute to place a basket in a basket. <laughs> And the finishing little touch here is this lemon squeezer. I got this last year and I just love the bright yellow color. I've been trying to thrift books lately so that I have more to add to my collection because I feel like they look so beautiful stacked up and used as decor, but I've been having trouble finding colors or um, covers that come off the books to expose the actual book color, but I did find that blue one. I think it's so pretty. And I wanted to also add something to the top of my oven. I can't stand how the time shows in that fluorescent green. I don't know, I guess it's a pet peeve. So I always love to cover it up with something. So I added my kettle. And then I went to Bath and Body Works probably a week ago and I was looking for some kind of blue candles and I love the smell of this one. It's called Sailing in the Mediterranean and it's quite strong. So if you don't like strong scents, it might not be for you, but I love it. It smells very fresh and clean and manly, um, but I think it's perfect for summer. I love to burn candles year round, not just in the fall and the winter, but I just feel like they add such a cozy feel to the space and they also make everything smell so fresh and amazing. Um, so I love Bath and Body Works and I typically always buy a seasonal candle from there. To kind of jazz up the oven, I'm going to add some seasonal tea towels. I actually got these last year. I remembered I had them, so I brought them out. And I believe they were from Marshalls. And I just love the yellow and the lemon print. I think it's so pretty. And then I also added one of my Dollar Tree cups to my Keurig station just to really carry that blue theme throughout the kitchen. I purchased these little cake canisters this year from HomeSense. They were on discount. I think it was $16 for two. I think they're so cute and pretty for the kitchen. So I knew I wanted to stack these kind of in the corner just to bring a little bit of height in. And I thought I would layer a tea towel to bring a little bit of color to this. And then I had these gorgeous tulips that I used in my spring decor. So I thought I would just add these to the top of this little cake pan. Let me know in the comments if you guys have started decorating for summer or if you're still decorating for spring. I would love to hear. I know everybody kind of starts at different times, but I'm so ready to get into my summer decor because then comes fall, which is my favorite season. Um, but I really love these little stands. I got these from Michaels this year. I love the distressing and the little legs on them. So I wanted to do a layered look with these. And then I found this gorgeous print from the Dublin Mercantile this year. I think it's stunning um, it was $24.99 I believe but it was 25% off and I thought this would look so gorgeous in the kitchen I'm gonna go in with another lace doily. I feel like these are so inexpensive. You can find them at the thrift stores, garage selling. I have like a whole stack of them that I've kind of been accumulating and I just love them. I know some people might think they're kind of old fashioned, but I think they're really romantic and pretty. And then I'm gonna also layer another little coaster and this really pretty teacup that I thrifted. It's kind of hard to pick up the detail, but it's really gorgeous and it's incorporating some of that blue. And then I have another Another one of these little yellow flowers from the Dublin Mercantile so I just wanted to add that in to give it a little bit more color and height.
I would love to know in the comments what colors you guys are using for your summer decor. I really want to stick with my blues and whites and then add in little pops of yellow. I typically love more muted tones, so using yellow is a big step for me, but I think it looks so fresh and pretty for the summer season. To bring in a little bit more cottage charm, I'm gonna add in these oven mitts. I love them, I love the colors. And I feel like you can add different patterns as long as they're in the same color family, everything flows together really well. I'm showing this little two-tiered stand. I got it from Walmart. And then when I was out thrifting, I found these adorable little cups. They were 50 cents each and actually from Pier 1. So I thought these would look so cute on this little tray. I also found these really cute salt and pepper shakers. I love the patterns on them. It was two for $9.99. And the one almost has a herringbone pattern. I think it's so adorable and just perfect for this little stand. I decided to bring in a little bit of greenery. It was looking a little bit bare, so I was trying to think what I could add to this. And then I had this really adorable little lace bottle from Michaels a few years ago. I thought it would be perfect. I'm trying to keep it really minimal and just really light and airy. And I had this adorable little bird. I think birds are so cute for spring and summer. And then to kind of fill out some space in the back, I'm just gonna add these really pretty mums from Michaels. Let me know in the comments if you guys decorate with two tier or three tier stands in your home. I definitely feel like they were more popular a while ago, but I still think they're so pretty and they just add such a cozy feel to a space and I really love to use them in my kitchen. So I love how this one turned out. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or if you like how it looks. If you guys watched my thrifted video that I posted last week, this is one of my favorite finds from the video. I think it was around five or six dollars. It's so pretty. So I thought I would layer in some tea towels and I just love how the whites and the blues pop against this wicker basket. And then I found these floral stems at Michael's. They are kind of like a darker yellow mixed in with a pale yellow. And I just kind of wanted to put them in and I wanted them to look really whimsical and wild and just kind of popping out of the basket. Good. So I'm just going to pop this on the top of the fridge just to fill in some space up there. I love how the kitchen turned out. Now the sun's coming out right after I'm done filming, but that's okay. You guys can get a really good shot of how everything looks. It was kind of dull and dreary, but at least it's getting a little bit nicer now. And I just love the bright colors. It really is starting to feel like summer, um, but we're supposed to get higher temps coming up within the next week or two. So let me know how the weather's like where you are, but I just wanted to say I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I love chatting with you every single week. and. If you do have Instagram, come follow me over there at Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I typically post daily and would love to chat with you, but thank you to each and every one of you. If you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, friends, take care. God bless.